How's it going everyone? Jobart Gaming here. We're playing a game I never thought I'd play on this channel. <laughs> Doki Doki Literature Club. Yeah, I've... I'm... I'm doing it. It's gonna be a thing on the channel. I don't remember what happened in this game. I played this game last year. Off camera. And I thought, oh, this would be good to record. So I reinstalled it. Uh, as you've been seeing, I've been playing Sonic World. If you want me to continue that, I'll do that too. So, uh, hey, Dad. our name. It'll be... Ah. I'm trying to think. What's a good name? Uh, I'm trying to think. There's so many good name choices. I don't want to choose something stupid. Not... I'll just go with that. I'll just go with it. Cause why not? Hey, <laughs> I'm not gonna do any voices or anything. Cause my voice sucks as it is, so I'm just gonna continue with the normal, normal voice. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know the kind of friend you've never seen yourself making today, but it kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school. We, man, we used to walk to school together on days like this. But starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's gonna chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Now again, I played this a long time ago, so I don't remember what actually happened in this game. So, uh, that's gonna be that. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. I overslept again, but I caught you this time. Maybe, maybe, but only because I stop decided to stop and wait for you. God, my speaking is awful. I can English. Eh? What y you said? You say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's me and chilled. Again, I went with chilled because that's a part of my name on YouTube, so I went with that. Well, if people st stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I just hit my keyboard. Ow. Uh, I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to whatever you say Sayori. I was gonna say something but Game Grumps said it so don't want them to copyright infringe me for saying something they said so uh hehe <laughs> I'll just go with that I'm not saying that um uh we cross the street together and make our way to school as we draw near the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute by the way, chilled. Have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already. I'm not interested in, in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh? That's not true. You told me you joined the club this. Joined a club this year. God, I can speak English. Uh, did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sorry likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on average with, while spending my free time on games and anime. That is close to me in real life. That's pretty much what I do in real life, just 
going off normal life with just games and sometimes anime. So, I'm, I relate to this guy very, very, very good. Uh huh. I was talking. I I was talking about how I'm worried you'll you won't learn how to socialize and or have any other any skills before college. God, I'm I can speak English today. <laughs> English is so good today. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few. What the hell's a neat? I'm sorry, guys. I gotta Google this. Hold on, guys. I have to Google this real quick. It's an acronym for that stands for not in education, employment, or training. Oh, <laughs> so that's what that means. <laughs> All right. Um, you trust me, right? I have no choice. Don't make me keep worrying about you. Okay? Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Well, you at least promise me you'll try a little. Yeah, I guess. Ah! <laughs> uh, oh, I'll promise you that. Yay. Why, why do I let myself get lectured by a, such a cheerful, caref carefree girl? Again, my English is superb today. More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything in her, in her head. Inside of her head. English is great. <laughs> English is so good. The school day is... As ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sarah wants me to join a. Da -da. Sayori wants me to check out a club, some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. I, I joined one of my ha my school had one. Hello. Sayori. Sorry, I must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. Well, shit. In real life, I'd be the one of the first ones out. <laughs> I thought I'd catch up. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting in your seat and spacing out. So I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You, you don't need to wait up for me if it's gonna make you late for your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. No, what? What'd you do? Well, you can come to my club. No. No, I don't want to join your club. Sorry. Yeah. There's no way I'm going to your club. Yeah, meanie. Sorry, it's vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because it she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. God, English is great. <laughs> I, I know I keep saying that, but like, I can't speak today for some weird reason. Uh, since she was the first one to show interest after the woman who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. You can sorry if my keyboard's loud, I'm just... Pressing the button. Let's go space bar now. Yeah, I'm I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. I'm not pressing the space bar. Uh, why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday that I'd bring a new member. Bring in a new member. God, English. Speak it! Okay. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. That's a true life fact right there. Don't make promises you can't keep. Uh, I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead. Or she's so cunning as to have planned all this out. Sorry guys, I'm tired. 
I did not plan this. I just kind of thought, oh, this would be a fun little recording. I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go. And that's the today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. <laughs> that's a funny line. I, I always loved that line because it's so, so funny. Dejectedly follows you across the school and upstairs. A section of the school rarely, I, I rarely visit being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sherry, full of energy, swings the door, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you not to call me a new member. If I'm not giving enough emotion, please tell me in the comments. Again, I'm, I've never done a visual novel. Again, I played this game last year, so I don't have any emotion. And besides, I'm tired. Got other shit on my mind. I've got other plans. Well, I thought I'd make this video for you guys today. So if I don't show enough emotion, please tell me in the comments below. And I'll, next episode, I'll try to give a little more emotion. <laughs> eh, I glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure to meet you. Meeting you. God! Sorry, he always says nice things about you. Oh, really? Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, chilled. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> what, do you, what should I say with a dot, dot, dot? Please also leave that in the comments. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. I... Honestly, I don't think that, but... What are you saying, man? What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry. Natsuki. Hmm. The girl with the sour attitude whose name apparently... Na apparently Natsuki... Jesus Christ. My English. Whose name is apparently Natsuki... Is is one I don't recognize. Can I speak? <laughs> this video is going to be titled English is Best. English is Best Language because I can't speak it. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She also she is also the one who made the cupcakes according to Sayori. You can just ignore her she, when she gets moody. Sayori says quiet, that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say that. Don't, don't say things like that. Yuri appears to be comparably more mature and timid. Seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet you both. Both of you, God. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Jill. Yeah, I don't like that pose. Yeah. That pose gives me nightmares sometimes. I'm just joking about that, but seriously, that pose is weird. Stop. We're gonna see that a lot in this playthrough, unfortunately. So Monica smiles sweetly. We don't know each other well. We rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. I don't think that, honestly, in real life. But, again, you do you, bud. Basically, completely out of my league. Again, th that's what you think. You think you do you, bud. I'm, I'm not into this shit, but go ahead. So, having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You too, Mo you too, Monica. Ah, stutter. He stutters there. I gotta stutter too. Sucks. I don't stutter. It's... Kinda happens. Come sit down, children. We made a room for you at the table you so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. <laughs> a little too fast there. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I get a little too excited. See that. Then how about I... Make some tea as well. God, English today. Speak right. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. 
as you already mentioned, it's been widened so that there is an, one space next to Monica and one ne one space next to Siori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Siori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! What? <laughs> Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray, revealing a dozen white fluffy cupcakes, decorated to look like little cats. And that's funny, because I have two cats going crazy right now, so it's kind of weird. Uh, the whiskers are drawn with icing and a little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. That's cool. So cute. I had no idea you had... S you were so good at baking, Natsuki. God, my English today. My friends going to say that and they're going to laugh at me. <laughs> uh, well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sarah so grabs one first, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious. Sarah so talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get her icing on her face. I turn. Damn it. Hit my keyboard again. Uh, I turn the cupcake around on my fingers looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice she's sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to just take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you, why are you thanking me? It's not like I, I haven't heard this somewhere before. Kind of a too soon that I move, but I'll ignore it for now. I need them for you or anything. Eh, I thought you technically did, so you already said, well, maybe, but not for you, you know, you dummy. me. I'm not gonna say that like crazy, cause eh, Tsundere is, no, stop. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss, dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each, one, each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. Okay, that's that's fair. I thought it was always good to ask permission for shit. Always good to ask permission. Life lesson number two of the day. Always ask permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I mean, I don't read a lot. That's why you can tell my grammar is garbage. But, I, I mean, I guess. Eh. The only things I've really read were... I don't really even read manga. I just read books in school, because I'm still in school. Uh, I, I guess, I mean, I could th that sums it up perfectly. Uh, don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. If I remember right, Monica is behind everything that happens in this game. I don't remember personally. But I think, if I'm correct, this bitch is the one... I'm going to call you bitch lady. I know that's used for other characters, but still, you're a bitch lady for me. Eh, that's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least you, I, I at least join tea, enjoy tea. Not in real life, but game me does so I'm glad Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief Monica raises an eyebrow then smiles at me so what made you consider joining the consider the literature club Jesus Christ English today sucks dick um I was afraid of this question Some, something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and they already seemed really happy here, so that's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We will make sure you feel right at home, okay? Oh my god, my cat is staring at something right now. <laughs> Hi, kitty. 
Oh, I'm getting distracted from the Let's Play, but that's fine. I don't care. As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Okay. Again, like something I don't give a shit about, but alright. Uh, Monica's I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? What are you looking at, cat? What are you looking at? <laughs> Nothing over there. Oh. Yeah, he's going. Uh, you could probably be board member uh, for any of the major clubs. Weren't you the leader of the debate club last year? Uh, well, you know, I don't know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. I will agree politics are god awful. Please just, no. No politics for me either. It feels like nothing but arguing about budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. Okay. Again, not something I'm into, but you do you. And if it encourage other, encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Alright. Again, you do you. Monica is, real, is a great leader. Not, uh, Yuri nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised that there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club again. Sorry, guys. I'm tired. I yawned the whole time, and I yawn now. So, uh, you can put it that way. I press shift instead of enter. Um, not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to starting something brand new. That's true. I won't say that's not true, I mean. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes sense, school events like the festival that much more important. Festival. I forgot that's a thing in this game. I'm confident that we can all grow this club before graduate. Alright, everyone. Yeah. We'll do our best. Like, again, that, that that line reminds me of Tales. I'll do my best. <laughs> uh, why am I relating this back to Sonic? I don't know. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though, I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Chills, what kind of things do you like to read? Ah. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even know it was up there. I just went, ah, uh, and looked up. Oh, it's there. Well, uh, shit. Considering how literal... Little, how little I've read the past few years, I don't, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga, yeah, let's go on manga. I mutter quickly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Oh shit! We've woken the Tsundere. Run! <laughs> I'm just screwing around. It looks like she wants to say something, but keeps quiet. Uh, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. Yeah, everything can change. <laughs> what I, what am I saying? I spoke without even thinking after Yuri's sad smile. After seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces her over teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Eh, I see that. I guess. I mean... Eh, I guess that works. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yeah! Again, that's, that's true. Here it goes on. Cheerfully, pa clearly passionate about her reading. It seems so reserved and timid since... The moment I walked in, it, 
but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds comfort in a world of books, not people. That's like kind of like what's been going on, like the social distancing. I know I'm relating this to real life right now, but like she finds her comfort more towards books. So like if something were to happen, like the coronavirus, for example, I shouldn't be talking about this, but I am. Uh, like she can just stay home and read. Like that. That's something, something good to think about. But we gotta just go continue on. Ignore what I just said. But if you don't, just don't bring up politics or anything in the comment section, please don't. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psycho. Jesus Christ, my brain hurt right there. Uh. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Immerse? I say it. I think so. Isn't it amazing how a, diff a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? That foreshadowing for something? I feel like that's going towards foreshadowing. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. I've never read a horror book in real life. Or have I? I have, I don't remember. Ah, I read, I read a horror book once. Back in my day, I read a horror book once. It wasn't pretty. <laughs> Again, I'm just messing around with this playthrough. This is just going to be a fun little playthrough. This is not going to be serious like the Sonic Forces playthrough. This is just a fun little playthrough. Just to mess around and talk. Because why not? All we need that little... A little break from all the action. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I, 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 I agree. I, I relate to that. Really, I would have, I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Again, is that foreshadowing? I don't remember a lot of the lore to this game. So, all I know is Bitch Lady is gonna, gonna be doing something. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. That's true. Again, I don't know. Ugh, I hate horror. Eh, I hate horror too, but... Oh, why is that? Oh, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me it's for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually write, like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? The tsundere kicking in. What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the last, class, last club meeting. It looks like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud And give that back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. That's kinda that's kinda gay, bro. But I'll ignore it. Sorry slides up behind Nasky to put her hair Oh god. I'm gonna ignore that. I'm not cute. Tsundere. Obviously. Like, it's so easy to see. Natsuki, you wrote your own poems. You write your own poems. Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Again, like, doesn't have to do it all the time, but writing at least a little bit every so often is so, it's good for the brain. I don't know why I don't do that, but I guess that's a life lesson number three. <laughs> why, why do you care? I think that it, I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like... Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The choice form of writing is writing of to oneself. Jesus Christ, this, is this that boring? Like, <laughs> like, the point of me yawn? You must be willing to open up 
to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the de the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example to help Natsuki feel more comfortable enough to share hers. Again, tell me what you want me to do with dot dot dots in the comments. I will I will take your suggestions, and I will I will I will use them. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. That's kind of weird. Say Yuri. It's a little weird, but I'll ignore it. I, we all sit in silence for a moment. Ugh, I hate that pose. Stop. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Dot, 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 question mark. <laughs> Again, I don't know what I'm going to do there. So, Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically, qu qu quiz quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we shall... We shall... Brain work, please. We... We'll all share them t with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um. Again, dot dot dot. Jesus Christ. Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us get all a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Sheldon? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sorry may have convinced me to stop by, but, that, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls still back at me with dejected eyes, but I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> Chilled. You all. I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to t look, make a clear headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls, again, I don't think that, but you do you, buddy. Alright. Uh, I've just. I have. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy. <laughs> e <laughs> e we just came back to my brain. Uh, Sarah wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Please stop. Hey! <laughs> you really did scare me there for a moment. Scare me for a moment. Jesus Christ, English, work! If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would have been so pissed. I'm super pissed. I don't care. Then it makes it official. Welcome to the liturgy. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think that's the way we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. She'll all look forward to see how you express yourself. Okay. Ah, the pose again. Stop. Can we get a hashtag stop the pose in the comments? Uh... <laughs> yeah. It's not that pose, please. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue their chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up the food, their food. Hey, chill. Since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. So Yuri and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after for clubs. After school for clubs. Jesus Christ, my English today. Uh, sure. I might as well. Yay. And now we're back here. Uh, with that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back to the f back and forth between the four girls. Sayori. Natsuki. Yuri. And, of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school with the in the literature club? Perhaps I'll have a chance to go closer to one of these girls. I don't think that, but again, you, you do you, buddy. I don't, I don't, I'm just gonna... I'm, I'm your wingman, technically. So I'm not trying to get you 
there. All right, I just need, I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances and make, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Here we go, we actually get to play the game. Now before I, before I begin writing, who do you guys think I should go for? I'm leaving this up to you guys. But for this episode, I'll just write random words on the on the. Oh. <laughs> I just went with random words. <laughs> ah, the pose again. Stop. I ain't getting chilled. I just see you didn't run away on us. Ha 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 ha. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I can keep my word. Oh, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last one to come in, so everyone else was already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, chilled. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making your dive head, making you dive head first into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh come on, like he deserves any slack. Terry told me you don't even want, you didn't want even want to join any clubs this year. Last year too. You're just a bitch. <laughs> I I don't know if you, I don't know if you plan on to just come here and hang out or what. But. If you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Again, is that foreshadowing? I think that's foreshadowing. Nasky, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who can't keeps her mega collection in her clothing. Nasky, you find yourself stuck between saying words Monica and manga. Manga is literature. Again, I agree with that, but again, you do you. No, I actually agree. Manga is literature. I have I have read manga. Like I've read like one manga book when I was like eight, and it was actually pretty good. So even though I didn't really read it, I just looked at the pictures because my grammar back then was worse than it is now. Swiftly defeated, Nasky plops back into her seat. Shit! I just skipped a piece of dialogue. Uh, oh no, I didn't. Okay. Don't worry, guys. Chilled always gives his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sorry, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. Oh shit, I just hit my mic. <laughs> there we go. And almost, you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> eh. You two are really good friends, aren't you? I may be a little jealous. Why are you je <gasps> Bitch! Why do you have to be jealous of it? Come on. How come? You and Chills can be good friends, too. That's, that's true. Uh, uh, sorry. Hmm? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh, oh. Yuri, you even brought you something today, you know. W wait, Sayori. Eh? Me? Um, not, not, nah, stuttering problem. Not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal, and it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh, I'm sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. No shit, Sherlock, you never think. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah. And I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked up a, picked out a book to you that you thought you might enjoy. 
It's a short read, so you should it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want. The, this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? Again, I don't think that, but you do you, bud. I, that, I, it's either this sweater is going to be told, called Grammar is my best. No, Grammar sucks. Or you do you, bud. I think that's what it's going to be called. I don't know yet. She even picked out a book that she thinks I'll like, despite not me, me not reading much. I just hit slash instead of enter again. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take a take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. I'll probably go up to the poem bit and like we'll show everyone our poems and I'll I'll go to the next poem bit and then end it. I like this music. Now that everyone settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sierra and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. And I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. We're gonna go see Natsuki? Uh. I hear Natsuki utter an. an, an what is, I feel dumb. What does that say? I I, I feel uh, I'm gonna skip that word, even though I'm retarded. Uh, sigh from the within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. Here we go. You looking for something in there? Freaking Monica. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point of keeping your collection organized if someone else is just going to mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and, and boxes across the shelf. Manga? You're in manga, right? Ah, uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into until you figure out where the other person stands. How did you know anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I, I see. There's a long, a long volume of manga and missed a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is. Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to the box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of it the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I just lost my breath there. <sighs> okay, there we go. I know that feel, I guess. I mean, I don't in IRL, but I guess my character does, so... I get closer to the books that she's admiring. Parfait Girls? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. This probably means it's either way out of my de demographic, or it's simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can do that through the glass on the door. Jesus Christ, bitch. Calm down. <laughs> the soon to raise. So annoying. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, child. Consider this a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. In fact... Natsuki pulls the first volume of Parfait Girls in from the box. I'm going to show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Wow, what a bitch move. Ah! I stare at the cover. It features four girls in a cover in colorful attire, striking animated feminine poses. Yeah. It exceeded Mo. <laughs> what? What is Mo? <laughs> uh, don't just stand there. Uh. Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. Oh, God. Then she sees me against the wall beneath the windowsill. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Eh, why's that? 
I guess it's easier to be closer together like this. Ah, uh, shit. No. Exclamation point. Don't just say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. No. In what way? Like, that That makes me, makes me feel weird in real life. Like, what do you mean by makes you feel weird about it? Nasty crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. <laughs> Good. Stay the away from me. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's particularly a bad thing. <laughs> oh, the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki is one, one inch closer. It's gonna inch closer, man. We're claiming the additional space while she hops. I won't know it. Once she hopes, I won't know it. Oh, <coughs> okay. I will let that out. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long is it since I've read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes I have. Sometimes after I have already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I am, but there's nothing really happened yet, so I can't talk. I can talk at the same time. It looks like it. It's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice to life affair. I grew out of these since it was rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. Again, I don't know much about this shit. So. So, what should I expect from this? Is there going to be a plot? Well, obviously. You think I'd enjoy something that didn't have that didn't have a plot? I mean, well, I guess I know you were saying. Know what you were saying. A lot of the beginning is about simple things. Like their really funny chapter where they're obsessed with a guy and the ice cream job. Are you freaking serious? This is every anime ever. I, I I don't watch a lot of anime. But that just helps you get to know the characters. And besides, it's still entertaining. But later on, all kinds of drama. Like, they get in all their backstories or some of the romance starts to happen. Oh, good. That's really what makes it so good. There's some many touching parts. Ah, is that so? It sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you. Eh, not doing it. Hey, wait. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, shit, I skipped dialogue. I fat fingered. Natsuki gives me a little shove. It just means that I haven't yet seen you at your full power. I'm only using 1% of my brain power. <laughs> Shaggy memes. Clean. Alright. <laughs> it's safe. Ah, this chapter seems about making shit. And this... This is just a guess, but... There's a lot of baking in this manga. Well, Natsuki pauses for a moment as she doesn't know, want to admit something. Yeah. Why does that matter? It doesn't, just, I was just curious. Since you enjoy baking too, right? That's just a coincidence. I happened to get into baking around the same time I got into the manga. It's like I would ever get into anything because it's in a manga. Yeah. I feel bad for anyone that it's imp impressionable. Ah, ha, ha. Not giving any expression in the laughter. Definitely no co not a coincidence. Oh, no. Definitely not a coincidence. No. I guess that explains Natsuki's interest in baking. Still, after all the hobbies that to pick up from ma manga, that definitely one of the better notes. Not to mention she's really good at it. So, who am I to judge? Oh, we're at this frame. I'm so glad that the text box is there. <laughs> I 
and dot dot dot. We'll read for a few more minutes. I finished a couple chapters at this point. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not? Even though you're just watching me read? Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you, you like with someone. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Hmm? You don't? Uh, that's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Ah, sorry. <laughs> like I could ever get my friends to read this. They, they just think manga is for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, eh, you still haven't grown out of that yet? That's kind of sad. Because, like, I'm an anime, and I'm, I kind of relate to that, because my friends are like, oh, I'd never get into this shit. So I'm kind of in that, in that same, like, loop, I guess. Okay, I don't the only anime my friends know pretty much is Jojo. Which has become a huge meme. And it may be a couple of others. I don't know. I'd have to ask them. If you're getting this far in the video, guys, I'm sorry if I'm continuously bringing you up. <laughs> it makes me want to punch them in the face. That's not what I think. But okay, each of you. Uh, uh, I know this. those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge you much, who don't judge much, less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated over to the other losers as over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm? Yeah, that's probably ac that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? <laughs> I mean, I feel like I can't even keep uh, keep it in my own room. I don't even know what made my dad what, what what my dad would do if he found this. That's supposed to mean. At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica w was kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, I here I am reading it. Well, it's just not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. <laughs> but at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Line. Well, dot, 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 again. So? Ah, ha, ha. Jeez, that's enough. You're gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flipped the page. Suddenly Natsuki starts laughing. Eh. Ah, I totally forgot that happens. Natsuki puts her, puts her finger on one of the panels. Minery is my favorite character. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Um, you always feel a little bad for her since she's so unlucky. But it gets especially bad when... Uh, I shouldn't be talking about that yet. Just finish the chapter. Natsuki's voice sparkles with excitement. As it's... Stark, stark. It's a stark contrast to her usual bossy tone. Jesus Christ! But if she's not used to sharing her favorite manga with her friends, I can understand why. It's hard to express in words the feeling you get when you connect it. <sighs> so like that. <sighs> Hell, God damn it. And being able to provide that to Natsuki, for whom it's a rare experience, the thought to make make the thought makes me smile a little to myself. All right, everyone. Eh? Are you all ready for t uh, with today's poems? Poems? Yeah. Oh, come on! Could your timing be any worse? Nah, the pose again. Sorry. I just need to make sure we have enough time. Though, you did look pretty cozy over there. Ah, ha, ha. Eh? Ah! 
<laughs> now she suddenly notices how close she's gotten to me. She hastily slides a good herself a good twelve inches away from that's a foot. You could have just said a good foot away from me. That would have made sense. Alright. I guess I'll stop here for now. I close the book and hand it towards Natsuki. You're just giving it back? Don't you want to know what happens? Uh, yeah, but... Monica just said... Don't be dumb. Take, just take it home with you. Eh? Is that really alright? I say that mostly because I didn't plan on using my spare time to read this. Well, of course. It's not like... A, it would take forever to finish it if you didn't take it home. Just finish that one before tomorrow so we can start the next one. And if it gets bent, I'll kill you. Okay. <laughs> Classic disunitary moments. Oh, hit shift again. By tomorrow? I only got partway through the volume so far. I might fall behind on some shows if I try to get through this. But I suppose it's necessary to sacrifice if it's easy. In exchange for seeing Natsuki's enthusiastic face. Or am I more scared of what will happen if I don't finish it? Alright then. I stand up. I return to where I put my stuff and carefully slip the book into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share it with? I can't wait. Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori, Sayori is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can... I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Nasky and Yuri's re reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. All right, we'll do this, and then we'll end off. We'll we'll go to the like I said, we'll go to the next poem section. We'll end off the episode there. So real quick, I'm gonna save just for the sake of saving. Can I use the? I can. I can use the arrow keys. I'll go with. Let's get Natsuki out of the way. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um. Natsuki rereads my poem. Never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Bitch! Eh? That's the point of sharing in the first place. I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Uh, in fact, I remember how I said I wanted to read your poems. That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable if you share yours. <sighs> like Monica said. Uh, well, I would be more comfortable by sharing my poem if yours wasn't if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me a, some dumb poem that makes me feel good. Ha! Well, it's... It... it Brain work, please. It's not that great, but let me show you what a real literature looks like. And when... And you went and ruined it. Hope you're happy. So, in other words, you're saying you liked it. Erk. <laughs> Don't know what that means. Nancy's retort gets caught in my, in her throat. Uh, you're so... You're just... Y you don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that I don't... You don't have to go announcing it to the whole world like you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. <laughs> Natsuki most... Must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she's liked my poem. In any case, you still want to show me yours, right? Uh, fine, I guess. 
Or because Monica will make me do it if I don't. I guess we gotta read this, huh? Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. I told you we weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. That's true. That's true. I, that's real life as well. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But it isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves. Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits your heart. Like this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. I almost didn't know what that word was. So I decided to write about it. <sighs> yeah, I understand. I hit shift again. But the only other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on word on the wordplay. Like I set up a for a rhyme at the end, but then I made it fall flat on purpose. <laughs> sure you did. It helps to bring out the feeling of the last one. So you did. I guess that's more. I guess more went into that than I realized. That's what I mean. That's what it means to be a pro. You're not a pro. That was. I've seen longer poems and that. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect didn't expect that from the youngest one here, you did ya? Eh, guess not. I decided to humor her with the last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take any take that away from her. You don't do that. It's a douche move if you do that. Bitch lady. Hi, bitch lady. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, have you ever, if you ever have suggestions for the club, like new activities, or things we can do better, I'm always listening. That's foreshadowing for something. Don't be afraid to bring anything up. Okay? It's alright. I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ah, uh, that pose again. Stop. Don't worry, child. I'm a little embarrassed today, you know. But that's a barrier we all have to learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I am gonna go my poem. I like it, child. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. Uh, oh jeez. No, no. It kinda makes me think of something Natsuki would write. And she's a good writer, too. Ah, that pose again! Stop! I just missed dialogue because of that. So take that as a compliment. Ah, uh -huh. if you say so. Yep. By the way, it's reading... By the any chance, have you read anything by Shel Silver Silverstein? That's a weird name. Eh? Maybe a long time ago. He's famous for telling kinds of stories just in a few simple words. His poems can be can be funny, endearing, or even sad. Hey, sometimes they only feel like on. They might even feel like they they're written for kids, but. If you think about them, they can express views of the world that would apply to anyone. Anybody, sorry, I see. So you're saying that Natsuki is kind of like that. Sort of. Maybe she's not an expert, but you probably won't find much filler in her poems. There might be too, they might be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get the meanings through. 
So I can see why it would be kind of, you're kind of a problem to explore. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you, I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find this kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles. I'll always help you find new styles. What suits you the most? Jesus Christ, I almost burnt. Uh, so, you don't, so don't force yourself to write anything you, everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Eh, <laughs> foreshadows. <laughs> anyway, you want me to read, do you want to read my poem now? Eh, don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty good, pretty confident for someone who claims that to be not very good. That, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall. It couldn't have been me. To see the direction sparkle protrudes, a noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know what I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel by, blind like a film left out in the sun but it's too late my retinas already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image it's just a little hole it wasn't too bright just it was too deep stretching forever into the holes of infinite choices <sighs> I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out, and he, on the other side, was looking in. Shit. Foreshadowing for shit. So, what do you think? Hmm. It's very free form, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to talk to ask for feedback. Ah, uh, it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of people, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between the words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was in the what was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, well, I'm not sure how to put it. I guess. You have, you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. But after everyone is better, my better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes if you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets you fixed on a specific point. If you try too hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get, there, get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about, about it is this. If you keep your pen on the same point for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay. That's normal. Let's go see Ori next. Let's leave Yuri for last. This is a good poem, child. Are you sure this it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. And uh, am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? Eh, I guess you're right. But that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid you wouldn't do it seriously. Or that you would write one at all. I am really happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you are <laughs> part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Eh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but, but that doesn't mean I, I'll break my promise. See? I hit shift again. <laughs> It's like I said before, child. Deep 
down. You're not selfish at all, you know. Trying new things is like this for peop other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny if she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that. Then. Hey! Now, you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. Eh, we'll see about that. <laughs> this is one of my favorite one of hers. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes you feel like you miss me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. <laughs> Her, her grammar is just as good as mine. <laughs> You're asking me to come out and play. Are you trusting me to wish away the rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> Favorite poem of this entire game. But, uh... I can sleep forever. I think that's foreshadowing for something that happens later on. Again, I'm looking deep into this game. As much as I can. Sayori. This is just a guess, but... Did you wait until this morning to write this? No. Just a little bit. You can't answer with just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least it makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Ah, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was the bad poem. It came out nicer. How should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially the, that last line. <laughs> Max and Toast. I even thought you were late to school. And they had to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. Eh, this was so much fun. Wanna get the best. Uh, yeah. And next time, I won't forget. I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess it. I look forward to it. Uh, the next one is. The final one is Yuri. Dot, dot, dot. Again. Mm. Yuri stares at the poem. I'm near passable. More than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh. Sorry. I forgot to start speaking. <laughs> um. It's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. Just putting my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Eh, uh, yeah? Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess it might be after all reading through it. Ah, so it's that bad? No. Did I just raise my voice? Uh, I'm sorry. Yuri, bas Yuri buries her face into her hands. That doesn't look like she's doing that, but okay. Uh, I couldn't help but notice that it feels like it's been several minutes since we really have gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you going to say? Right, um. It's just there's specific writing habits that you feel typical of new writers. And having been through it myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. Most notable as I can recognize new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. Deliberate? Deliberate? Is that what I said? Deliberate, yeah. In other words, they tend to pick writing styles separate from the topic matter and they form fit it, the two together. Um, alright then. The end result is, is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, as it, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stamina, stammering, stammering, oh, stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. 
there are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing it was a simple poem not just finding them and building them but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part it might take you some time but it it all comes to cl so it co all comes to practice and learning by example trying new things I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you f valuable feedback asking can be a little bit biased though biased how um, well never mind I shouldn't be talking about people like that sorry it's fine I'm not sure if you're either apologizing to yourself, to me, or Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my poem, my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if the rare opportunity for her, which stuff is kind of funny. After all, is, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Oh god, I'm not good at writing, reading scripts, so this is going to be fun. A ghost under the light that my brain hurts. The ten... The, the ten bill... The, everyone's gonna laugh at me for not knowing this. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow bathing. It must be this one, at least. The remaining street light to have withstood the test of time that yet the, the last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future, I bathe, I bathe calm and breathing air of the present, but living in the past, the light flickers, I flicker back. Okay, I can't read scripts, so if that sounded awful, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But you took you so long, a long time to read. Ah, well, I just don't read script very often. It's true, I don't. I actually think your handwriting is very pretty. Eh, that's a relief. I also like the poem. I even though it's short, it's rarely descriptive. It wasn't too short. You should write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing poems, I wanted to write something that's a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <sighs> I Actually, the story isn't about the ghost at all, child. Really? I must have totally missed that point. Well, I suppose you did only glass over it after all. But remember, the poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences into their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In that case, perhaps the the subject of the poem is being only being symbolically compared to a ghost lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more slalom putting it in that way. I hadn't even thought about that. That's impressive. It's not, is it not, nothing really? Well, it makes me happy to think that you think that, eh, that you think that. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back everyone. Sorry it took so long. Uh, just remember that it would be too be long before you pick on pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. And there's that bit. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. It's a little more stress stressful than I anticipated. Smoky, why you look at my shoes? Smoky, stop looking at my shoes. There's nothing there. If it's it's a, uh, it's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. 
even if there's they're just being nice there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs and this is the literature club after all I sigh I guess that that's what I ended up getting myself into across the room Sarah and Monica are happily chatting like always I said that not the game my eyes land on Yuri Nasky they are gingerly exchanged sheets of paper that share their respective poems and they read in tandem. I, I watch each other, uh, their expressions change. Nasky's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Nasky dismissively returns to the poem at the, the desk in one, with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Here's this cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You you mean you uh, you mean you have to try t that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but a l it. Uh, it really didn't come out that all nice. Nice at all. Eh. Um. Well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Zero liked it, and Chill did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate it. I appreciate the offer, but. I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect to change it at any time soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly, particularly inspired, which I haven't yet. And Chill's like my poem too, you know. He even told me that I was impressed by it. As he suddenly stands up, oh no, the music's left. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Oh, jeez, that music, I hate it. Eh, that's not what I, uh, you're, you're just, your stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that, just jealous that Chills appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Huh, and how did he, how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? And you're full, you're full of yourself. I, no. I was, if I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do ever really cutesy. Uh, uh, um, is everything okay? Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the only... Okay, I'm not reading that. Demonetization. Natsuki. Um, Natsuki? That's a little... This doesn't involve you. I, I don't like fighting you guys. Suddenly both girls turns towards me as they just noticed I was just standing there. Chilled. She, she's trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate the simple writing that was more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What is the point of making your poems all co convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain this to her, Chilled. Wait. There's a reason I have we have so many deep expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey them, reflect feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not unnecessarily limiting yourself is also a waste. You understand that, Rachel? Um well, uh how did I, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. Whoever I agree with, well, they will probably, like, think more highly of me. Shit. So go with the Tsundere, the Yandere, I think she's the Yandere, and, uh, or just call for help. Natsuki. Natsuki gives me time drawing up any words I had in my mouth. So instead I turned to Yuri. Yuri! Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to do anything to her. Say anything to her. Uh, Sayori! Eh? Yeah? 
Everyone's fighting. It makes everybody uncomfortable. How can you two keep you fighting when you're making your friend feel like this? Chilled. That's her problem, isn't it? This isn't about her. I agree. It's unfair that you inject your own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Siri wants to tell your head stuck up jerk she's being. Ah, again! She would never. It's your immaturity that made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why, exactly what nobody likes. Stop! Good, the music stopped. Nasky. Yuri. You guys are my friends. I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people. And I love them because they're differences. And that's these poems. They're amazing because they give so many feelings just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint a beautiful picture in your head. Everyone's so talented. So why are they? F why are we fighting? Be because, well, also, Nasty's cute, and there's nothing wrong with that. And I'm not reading that. <laughs> not reading that. <laughs> uh, sorry. That uh, stands up triumphantly. Stands behind her with a bewildered expression. Uh, I'll make some tea. Please, please go run, please. Uh, Yuri rushes off. Nasty sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So this is why Sayori is vice president. I whisper to Monka. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader, but I can't organize things. Wait, did I, did I, did I just read that wrong? Can't organize things. I'm retarded. I go with other people. I can't bring myself to interject. As president, that kind of thing is embarrassing of me. Eh, uh -huh. ah. It's not like you can, I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess it just means Sarah isn't amazing in her own ways, isn't it? You can say that. She might be an airhead sometimes, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. Ah, the pose again. I'm gonna put in one of the tags, hashtag stop the pose. I'm gonna try to see if we can get that going in the comments. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get hurt. See, get herself hurt. Foreshadowing. That makes the two, that makes two of us. You can count on me. <laughs> Silent Griffins. Smile, Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to a knot. Such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I can get the chance to talk to her a little bit more. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How'd y'all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. I want to say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Chilled, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. Then in case we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you, you learn something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself, I did learn a little bit more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I have, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those who I want to impress. And onto myself with newfound determination. Chilled. Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, beams at me. It's truly been a while since Siri and I have spent this much time together. I can really I can't really say why I'm not enjoying it either. Siri. About what happened earlier. Eh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Asuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No no no. That's really the first time that I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate him. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make a good friend with you. They'd make good friends with you. Phew. You know, children. It's a nice thing to get to spend time with you in the club. But seeing you get along with everyone is making me the happiest, and I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... Eh. Every day is going to be so much more, f so much fun. Looks like Siori still hasn't caught, a, caught on to the 
kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Siri. Stephen in the future. I'm just joking. That series is over. I pat Siri on the shoulder. I said that. I said more that more to myself than her, but it's e easy to use Siri as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay, yeah. Let's do this. And that's where I'm going to leave the first episode. Let's save it here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a like. If you're new here, please come subscribe to the channel. This is my 100th video, uh, 100th video special, along with 60 subscriber special. Thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed to the channel. Uh... I hope you enjoyed this. I will probably upload the next episode tomorrow. Please give it... And I'll talk to you all then. See you then.